So I did a video last week, the day that El Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender when it became official that Bitcoin could be used alongside uh, the US dollar in order to make payments for goods and services. And I marked that day with a quick video in uh, Poland as I was walking around uh, one of the parks by the river there. And as I did the video, um, I mentioned that Bitcoin would not be able, or at least the system that El Salvador had put in place would not be able to, uh, to handle daily transactions because Bitcoin, when you, when you deal with Bitcoin, we exchange Bitcoin or send Bitcoin to someone. It usually takes around 10 minutes. It has to, uh, it has to go through various uh, validators and verifications in order for the transaction to take place. And I noted that at this stage, Bitcoin just doesn't do that. And it, it would not be feasible to go to a coffee shop, for example, and you know use Bitcoin in order to purchase a cup of coffee. And boy, was I wrong. People did call me out on that video, rightly so. I, uh, I forgot to, to dig into the story a little bit more in El Salvador and realized that with their Chivo wallet, which is the wallet that they gave to, gave to everybody in El Salvador, all the citizens of El Salvador, along with $30 of Bitcoin, so that they could use it, it was uh, integrated with what is called the Lightning Network. And the Lightning Network is basically, it's a layer two solution. In other words, it kind of sits on top of, uh, of Bitcoin and it makes the transactions faster. I mean, it really speeds it up. So it makes it possible for you to actually go to a coffee shop, take out your mobile phone, which has this Chivo app, this Chivo wallet on it, and make a payment and it's instant. And I'm gonna show you videos now coming out of El Salvador which shows people actually making purchases with Bitcoin with their Chivo wallet. And it's really cool to see because they're buying their coffee or their food and you know they're putting their, their wallet there, their payment, and the vendor is, boom, scanning it and bam, the payment is made right away in Bitcoin for that cup of coffee or that food or whatever they're purchasing. So what it really does, the Lightning Network, what it does is that it takes Bitcoin from a store of value crypto from a store of value asset and turns into something that you can actually use every day, a, a real way to, to pay for things. And it's very cool. And I didn't know that. Now I do know that. And as I dug into the story about El Salvador, I realized that this is even bigger than when I reported on it. Because when I reported on it, I said, this is huge. A sovereign country is going to be using Bitcoin as legal tender. It's massive. But the fact that you have a sovereign country using Bitcoin as legal tender giving a wallet to people, loading it up with $30 for each person and making Bitcoin uh, a feasible and real way to pay for everyday goods and services, everyday products is huge. It is huge. And the fact that people are using it is even bigger. I mean, this is, okay, El Salvador is small. It's a small country, but this is a really big, big deal. Now, this is not to say that uh, the Chiva wallet and, and, and the whole system didn't have its bumps. It had some bumps. And uh, the president Bukele even came out with an announcement when it first came out, when it first got going, that it would have to, it would need a couple of hours for maintenance and for them to, to iron out whatever bugs uh, they found. This always happens when you launch different software, when you launch new, new technology projects, whether it's a, it's a small website or something as massive as this, you're going to have you know, certain bumps and certain things that you need to iron out when you put it into a real world setting. No problem. It'll get ironed out and uh, it is getting ironed out. And uh, people in El Salvador are using this more and more. And this brings me to the main story here, which is an article that ran a couple of days ago via Zero Hedge, which says that El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin is going to really cost money transfer companies hundreds of millions in fees. In other words, Western Union, the big money transfer company that takes a huge chunk of a commission for everything that you transfer using their system is complaining. They are pissed off about the fact that people in El Salvador are receiving remittances from family, friends, relatives outside of the country using Bitcoin. And it is working and it's fast. And the fees are peanuts literally peanuts compared to what Western Union would take. And Western Union would take three to five to six days to get the money to you as well. So you're going from instant, close to nothing in fees or commissions, 
decentralized, safe, secure, to you're, you're going from that where you were previously, which was using Western Union and, and having to run to an office. That's the other thing. You have to run to a Western Union office most of the times. Most of the times. You would go there. You, you would put your money in there. It would take three, four days. You had to go through all the, the hoops and stuff. And okay, you, you would probably pay five, 10, 20 bucks. Who knows what it is in fees? It's been a long time since I've used Western Union. But it was a pain in the ass. I mean, for people in El Salvador, they would have to actually have to like maybe take the bus or, or go somewhere to, to receive that money from Western Union office as well. This is what CNBC is saying. 70% of the Salvadorian population receives remittance payments that can now be transferred using Bitcoin. 70%. That is huge. Think about that. Think about that. 70%. Wow. Last year, more than 6 billion or about 23% of the country's GDP was sent back from the 2.5 million who have fled El Salvador. 60% of that cash comes via remittance companies and 38% through banking institutions, according to uh, CNBC. 6 billion, 23% of the country's GDP. <laughs> Jeez. So here you can see a chart right here. And you can see the personal remittances. I mean, it's just, boom, going up, going up. And Bitcoin is going to uh, really, really help out the people of El Salvador, big time. Um, Western Union is, is pissed off about it. <laughs> really pissed off about it. But you know what? A lot of the problems with the fees, a lot of the problems with having people to actually get on buses or actually go to the Western Union offices. I know they have an online system as well, but you, know, you got to think in terms about how people in El Salvador were, were, uh, were working this system. Bitcoin really does fix a lot of the friction involved with sending remittances overseas. And in a country like El Salvador, where you had, uh, what was it, 23% of the country's GDP depended on remittances. This is big. This is big. It really is big. Bitcoin really does fix a lot of these problems that a lot of people had in El Salvador with uh, sending money. And uh, the Chivo wallet coupled with the Lightning Network, well, you have uh, a working solution, a real life working solution that you can use every day. Once again, you're turning Bitcoin from a, a store of value into into a currency that you can use to purchase everyday items. Think about that. That's huge. It takes three days for uh, Western Union transactions to happen to arrive in El Salvador. Three days. Bitcoin is instant. I'm going to play some videos for you guys now. You'll see people paying with Bitcoin and uh, you'll see how cool it is. Anyway, that's the, that's a short video I wanted to get out to you guys today. I am signing out. TheDuran.Locals.com Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, and uh, SuperU. You'll find all our videos there in the Durant shop, 10% off. When you use the code Real News, check out these videos. Take care. <laughs> El Tunco, El Salvador. This is the jungle street food in El Tunco. And we're going to do a Bitcoin purchase using Lightning Network. A dollar fifty cerveza here. This is the El Salvador Pilsner. And this is, a, you'll see that this is more secure than Visa, more private than Visa, more inclusive than Visa, more energy efficient than Visa more transaction capacity than Visa. All you do is have to have a smartphone and you're on. 
So he's using a Bitcoin Beach wallet. And I'm gonna launch my strike. Now, in the US, I, I tr using ACH, I transferred it like 100 bucks into Stripe, to the custodial wallet. And all they have to do is pay. And I'm gonna scan this QR code. And that's $1.50 for this, this beer. Uh, Strike is adding one penny to the transaction. I'll confirm in less than two seconds, it confirms and he gets his $1.50 minus the one set. That's an example of a custodial wallet. There's, uh, there's not custodial wallets where you aren't gonna pay that penny. So I think in about a year from now, when El Salvadorans you know, go through this learning curve, it's gonna be goodbye Visa and hello Bitcoin.